Hey guys, we're back with another video, and today uh, I'm going to uh, show you a little trick um, that we use uh, to make fiberglass sheets. So, what I have here in front of me is a piece of glass, and this is just some glass uh, from Home Depot or something like that. And and basically, uh, what we do is we wax up this glass uh, using um, some mold release uh, wax, and then uh, basically we. Uh, We'll uh, spread it onto the glass. And I've already spread a little bit on here. And you kind of let it dry for a little bit and then wipe it off until it's, you know, uh, fairly shiny. So it's just kind of like regular wax that you wax your car with. So you wax it and then when it starts, starts to haze up, then, uh, then you'll want to remove it. Um, but if you leave it on there and it's a little heavy, it's not really a big deal for what we're doing here. So, uh, so anyway, um, what we do is we then, uh, take uh, some sheets of fiberglass and we'll lay it on top of the glass and I'm just going with uh, two uh, 1.5 ounce sheets of, of fiberglass layer, layers and uh, they, they're not exactly cut very straight but that's pretty much okay so um, I'm only going to need just a little strip so then um, what we do is uh, I'll mix up some resin and uh, we'll, we'll use this resin and we'll, we'll infuse it into, this, uh, into these sheets and let it set up and then we'll be able to uh, peel this off and come out with a really smooth um, sheet. So some of the things I use um, is a little uh, roller and this basically will uh, roll the resin uh, into the fiberglass. And uh, one cool thing about this is it's a, this is a homemade <laughs> uh, super cheap roller. So uh, this is uh, basically a paintbrush roller from Home Depot, and and what we did was we added some washers on top of it and a little uh, I don't know funky little nut that we found um, at the hardware store. So so basically it's uh, let me see it I don't know if you can see this but it's two different size washers and one smaller than the other and you just stack them like that and it kind of creates a grooved uh, roller. So it saves you a lot of money because, you know, from the real uh, fiberglass pro shops and stuff, this, these things are like 40 bucks, 30 bucks uh, for a roller. And um, I actually find it easier uh, to clean, uh, or I find these easier to clean than the all one piece aluminum or plastic rollers that you get online because basically you just undo this nut, drop all the washers into a can of acetone and uh, and let it soak overnight and then, then dump your washers out and put them back on and it's it's clean it's not all uh, clogged up so I uh, found that tip somewhere probably on the internet and so I'm not going to assume credit for it I'm sure it belongs to somebody else so uh, so anyway so that's a, a helpful deal um, I need to get some gloves on and I want to mix up some resin and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll apply it and then show you what it looks like when I release it so uh, let me do that real quick um, all right, um, I'm back, and uh, I've mixed up a uh, thing of resin. I actually haven't mixed it yet, but I've poured uh, some resin. This is probably way too much, so uh, not a big deal. Um, so uh, I'm gonna put the gloves on. Everybody always asks me why I do all this with my nice watch on. I don't know, but I haven't gotten messed up yet, so. <laughs> um, I have another problem with these videos is I'm so tall, I always lose my head on the videos. So, uh, kind of strange because I wish I could look at the, uh, the camera or at least have you seen my face. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to mix some resin. I got it right here and uh, I'm going to mix this pretty hot. So generally uh, I have about 20 ounces, I guess. And, you know, one good squirt is good, but I like to do a couple. So, oh. Went all over the place. Um, so I'm going to mix it pretty hot just so that it sets up fast uh, for camera time. So you want to mix it up pretty good. So hopefully I can get this under like 10 minutes for YouTube. I don't have to cut it out. That's the goal. See if I can do some tips every uh, every month or something like that. Stuff that I think is pretty useful for everybody out there trying to do something like this. All right. 
Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. See how that goes. And this is real good for uh, working all the air bubbles out. Um, that's what the rollers do. It helps evenly uh, disperse the resin. And, um, and if you have too much resin on it, which can be a bad thing, it actually makes it weaker to have resin. That's why, you know, if you research this at all, things like you know vacuum forming and stuff like that are a lot better because they really get all the resin out and just leave the minimum amount for binding the materials together, which makes it really strong and really light at the same time. So the roller kind of does the same thing. There's different types. There's some rollers that are strictly for uh, dispersing the, the resin in between the layers. And then there's some that are specifically for removing air bubbles. And this one is uh, more for just kind of dispersing uh, the resin more than getting rid of air bubbles. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's do this a little bit. And make sure you get it all smooth and soaked in. All right. So I think that's it. Let's kind of run some of the excess off on the sides, which is good. And the nice thing about using this mirror with the wax on it is when I get through, uh, basically you just take a little tiny screwdriver and come in at an edge and pop it off. And the whole thing will just peel right off uh, real easy. And it'll have just like a glass finish on the other side, really smooth. Um, so it's really good. And the best thing about it is it's real flexible. So uh, you can bend this real easy uh, without it breaking. So, all right. So that's good. Set that there. And then we'll let that set up um, for a little bit. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I uh, take it off. So I'm not sure how long it'll take, but uh, I'll try to get that on video. All right. All right, we're back. Uh, and the, uh, the fiberglass mat is now um, set and it's, uh, it's hard. Uh, it's a new day, it's a new shirt. So, um, I'm going to show you how I removed this and how easy it comes off. So basically you just take a razor blade and you just want to grab a corner somewhere and just barely stick it up up around in some of the areas. And you'll see it starts to lift. I don't know if you can see that little up there. And then you just pick it up like that. Now it's perfectly smooth on the back side. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the picture, how shiny it is, but it's really, really shiny and it's very smooth. Um, for what we use this a lot, it's not necessarily that it has to be so smooth, it's just the glass makes it easy to, uh, to make a flat piece of uh, fiberglass that's pretty thick and, and in our case really flexible, so we like it to be nice and flexy. And, and this will help uh, if we need to build up stuff. Um, uh, uh, one one place that we used this was uh, on on the previous headlight that we had some issues with. Uh, we uh, we created a I guess we kind of cut out a little ledge like that and and placed it into the uh, headlight uh, frame basically and used this as a mounting surface. So this is one that we didn't use, but again we were able to use it and then bend it to the contour of the light. So it, it just really helps out. Uh, with things like that. So, so now we got it. it's kind of ugly and what we'll do is just go through and we'll cut uh, a nice square shape out of this and just trim it off uh, and then cut out the shape that we need. But it's a real quick and easy deal. Um, I would have uh, it would have set up a lot quicker but it's a little chilly um, these days now so uh, it takes a little longer to, to set up. So, 
So uh, that's why I'm why I'm doing it uh, the next day. So anyway, uh, I will uh, do another video later and show you guys uh, how I'm going to use this. I have some certain places that I need to use this piece, so I'll, I'll do that in another video next time.